Hello. I am Forrester. Asher Forrester. Goodbye, ma'am. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Yeah. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell sorts to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. Hi, Alex. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Oh. Ponte Renas! Yonkai Heroncho si bota con costoti da or! Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. I hope you brought a fucking car. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Maybe a sand boat? Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. You could say winter is coming. <laughs> that was a good one. I'll shoot you if you have to. You know, little finger? I'm laser finger. Hmm. Fuck it. Check 
Everything's still here. You should really learn to lock your things, though. Might be a good decision. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Hmm. Someone's fucking with you. Hang on, check this book first before you get in the letter. Was someone going through my books? Yeah, see if you stuck any, like, paper in there or something. What is this? Why would someone do this? Mm. All right. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is... <laughs> If the two of you wanted to produce an heir... Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? Hey. You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as... Beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral, and you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. 
Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Elena, we need your army. Without you, our family may not survive. I'm sorry, but I have to think of my family too, Roderick. Shit. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Mind your own business, Whitetail. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me here? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you Fucking listen. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. No. Kiss it. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that! Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. <sighs> Fuck. Ooh, 
by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family? What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? The men were too drunk to draw their swords. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the night's nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. Hey, still with Oh, boy. Hey, there, John. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. 
You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wardens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. How am I going to end up like Frostfinger? I'm here, but where are you? Hmm. Not quite sure how this would be. <gasps> but hey, these things tend to happen. Life brings it to the strangest places. You over here? <coughs> okay, hi. Is it that man? No, that's a guard. Where is that man? Mm. Probably shouldn't. I don't think that's him. Oh. Where do you think oh. you're going? Um. At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Um. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. Oh. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I'll be a jerk. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. Thanks. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. Um... What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. Um. I hate to see you suffer. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is a problem. Um. Okay. Push. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I did. Fuck. I'm sorry, I know you're just doing your job, but you're not gonna make me die, please. Um, here. Run! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, man, come on! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm going to so goddamn die! Fuck it! <laughs> Uh... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!
I forgot that he was a guard and strong. Holy shit. I thought I, I thought I would have been one of those situations where I had the chance to not do it, but I thought, no, I had to kill okay. Hi. People. So someone sent him? What are you doing here? No. I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. God, you are the coolest. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Fuck. Keep it. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I, I, okay. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... So you disagree with your father, then? I will admit his methods are often... misguided. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died... because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Hi, <sighs> Mum. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Gwen came here on her own. 
She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You'll go mad thinking like that. I have seen what men must do to win a war. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband. My love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea Pain slavers play in crimson rains To bring Ethan back to me His final words faced with the sword 
cut short the bastard's breath. Take me as hostage, oh my lord, he saved us all from death. Fight on. going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill means to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for you to be worried about? What was that? Well, um, so, uh, there be dragons. Daenerys might be a thing soon. I don't know. And, um, shit's hitting the fan. Shit. Okay, then. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. May kings and queens melt down their crowns up high on Aegon's hill. In floods of gold, I pray they drown for all the blood they spill. sword cut short the bastard's breath take me as hostage oh my lord he saved us all from death he saved us all from death 
Fight on, fight on, Ethan the brave, old gods bear steel with you. Well, okay then. Hmm. Well, that was Game of Thrones episode two. I, I'm okay with that. You know, I am totally okay with that. We got Asher, he's Dragon Age in there. Uh, we got Roderick, we Scarface now. We got Mira, who's almost died. And we got Gregor, who's hanging out with Jon Snow, and that's totally cool. Yeah. There's gonna be dragons and shit. That's, this is, I like dragons. I want in on that. So, hopefully if you like dragons too, you can stick around and check it out next time when that happens. Because, gotta wait a little bit. As per usual. Because that's how these kind of things work. But yeah. Good, good stuff. I'm gonna go now. See you have a good time doing good stuff too, cause I'm gonna go do Okay. Thank you for sticking around. That's a good good thing I need. Take it easy. Bye guys.